What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to be unboxing the Robot Paradise, or as we know them, Fans Toys, Cassetticons for their version of Sound Blaster. So this was sent to me by Nick the Toy Guy. Thanks for getting this out to me quickly. And by the way, he's opened up a new store, nickthetoyguy.com. I'll put the link in the description. And you can use my coupon code to get a discount. I'll also put that in the description. It's TMR. 10 off to get 10% off and then the other one is free ship to get free shipping so combining the two you can get a discount on that store off for in stock items mostly fan toys stuff is what he deals with so if you're interested in getting fan toys figures that have already been released uh, not new stuff not pre-orders but for in stock stuff then you can use those two codes and get a discount and he will know that I sent you so with that being said, let's take a look. We've got the four tapes here on the cover. No artwork here, unfortunately, by IOLab Studios. We got Buzzsaw, or they call him Corax. We have Slugfest or Thagomizer. These names are funny. We got Marvin or Auto Scout, and then we got Rexodon or Overkill. And I'll probably mess up those names along the way. On the back, we got product images with Sound Blaster. We'll bring him in later, or they call him Acoustic Blaster. And it does have a bio here for the, the Cassetticon, so that's interesting. I, I wasn't expecting them to actually go to the trouble. It's funny that they changed the stickers and everything to Robot Paradise, even though we all know it's fans to us. So he just does say uh, Robot Paradise 2024 on here. And to get an instruction manual and cards, but they've been putting out really good instructional videos. So you don't really need these. Uh, here's the guide. And there's the four tapes. And transformation for Buzzsaw, transformation for Overkill. They all look relatively simple. Slugfest. I'm going to forget their Robot Paradise teams. <laughs> And Marvin or Auto Scout. Yeah, there you go for that. And the collector's cards, these look like renders, but we've got Agamizer, Rexodon, Corax. Oh, wow, they wrote individual bios. Each of them have their own. They haven't done that in the past. You, uh, typically they've been the same bio, I think. But on here they did, and they all get their own tech specs. These numbers are all over the place. But, yeah, that's interesting. Well, I, I always say I'm going to go back and read these, and then I don't. But Serving both acoustic wave and acoustic blaster. Interesting. All right, let's take a look at what we got here. And they did tape this, so you're going to have to cut the tape on these. Alright, so let's get it open. And here's the tapes and all the weapons. I think I'm just going to dump it out, make it easier on myself. So I can actually look at everything. And there we go. Alright, so we've got the tape covers. It looks like they're all identical, so no difference there. So I'll set those aside. Here is Rexodon or Overkill. Nice pearlescent white with metallic blue. And then he's got two chromed weapons here. That looks really good. Really nice. I wonder, can you attach this? I guess you can. So if you want to tape with boosters, you can do that. I'll set that aside. We've got... And they all come in this little plastic wrapping to protect it. Dagomizer. Done in this kind of goldish yellow with pink. And you got gold chrome. And he's got two weapons as well. Done in chrome. That looks nice. And I guess we could plug these in too if we want. 
we have Buzzsaw, or their name is Corax. Same mold as the laser beak that we got earlier. So I'll bring that back in here, but the color's really nice. Yellow, silver, it's great. And then last one here is Marvin, or the Auto Scout. What a name, Marvin. It's got metallic blue, metallic purple. This one's got a little bit of that grease, that fan toys grease on it. So let me wipe it off. And he comes with these two weapons, which are interesting. Oh, I think these aren't weapons. These are the those little minerals or those gems that he picked up. So it's to put in his uh, claw, I believe. All right, so that's about it for the unboxing. Stay tuned for the review. And once again, thanks to Nick the Toy Guy for sending these out. And if you're interested, you can check out his store for more fan toys figures. Stay tuned for the review, and we'll see you then.